attack zero, zero. for Frazier as he goes into this match. First serve underway. Easy put away Side for out. Dylan Frazier getting the serve right back. Yeah, great job there on the return, just applying some pressure and then keeping Duong back, forcing him to zero, zero. try a lob there, which of course did not work. Point. Great deep serve there from Frazier. Duong taking a look at it, wondering One, if zero. that stayed in or not, but uh, good job from Frazier with that deep serve. What a shot from Duong. He is a motivated 17-year-old. This is the guy that took out Ben Johns in the round of 15. Zero the three-game thriller. 17 years old, dedicates a lot of time to the sport. Point. Just back for Frazier. Duong is on the board. Yeah, and I think you mentioned, uh, I think when he played Ben, that, that he's still playing tennis, is that right? One, that he's one. still kind of going back and forth, which is very rare, certainly for these players in the Pro Tour. Still trains Point. at the IMG Academy, and his father, Duke, has a home over there in Orlando. And he says pickleball has helped his tennis, which Two, is not one. the usual story. Right, yeah. Yeah, that's impressive that he's still trying to compete in both sports. And that right knee is, is a problem for Duong right now. Chatted with him uh, before this match, and he dinged it up back in Dallas at Nationals last season, and it's three one still bothering him. Yeah, he had uh, just some tape on it, I think, when we saw him yesterday, and now he's got a brace over that Side tape. Out. So it certainly looks like that's been uh, an issue for him. Hopefully it does one, not three. hinder him too much here that we could see the best of Duong here in this semifinal matchup. Cross court winner for Dylan Frazier, the 22 year old sensation. What a run for Dylan Frazier, by the way, on his way to the semifinal. Took out Two, Tyson three. McGuffin in the quarters. J.W. Johnson in the round of 16. Point. Just back and now ties it back up at three. Yeah, Dylan, as we three, mentioned three. before, one of the few uh, players on the single side that does not come from tennis. Point. Uh, and so that's really impressive. For, for So for the viewers out there, you do not have to have a Four, tennis three. background to be a great singles player. Frazier is a great example of that. Let. Recall. Four, three. Missouri born and raised is Dylan Frazier. Let. Another let. Recall. Which we replay here on the Carvana PPA Tour. Four, three. <laughs> Side out. That was three head cords in a row. Three, that one four. falling short. What, what a shot from Duong. Yeah, great cross court backhand there from Duong. And we mentioned how deadly his forehand is, but he's showing us that he can pass on both sides. Certainly, you could tell that Frazier is trying to target that backhand four, side. Four. That time, Duong able to step into it and a rip it cross court for a winner. Hands battle Side won up. by Dylan Frazier. Yeah, probably not the, four, four. the strategy that, that Duong is going to want to get into with these hands battles with Frazier. Frazier, one of the fastest hands in the sport. Well, how about the little twirl that Side Frazier out. just did at the kitchen, did. too, and still found a way to get right back in it. This one is neck and neck all the way through. 4-4. Four, four. Out. Beautiful finishing touch for Dylan Frazier, the 10 seed. As I mentioned, J.W. Johnson's a big win for him in the round of 16, as is top three Tyson McGuffin four, four. in the quarters, and did it in two, both times. Yeah, that's obviously two of the top players in the world that Frazier was able to take out. Side out. 
Still a part-time student as well, Dylan Frazier. Was full-time student, then pickleball has taken off for him as well. Studying business at Mizzou, smart Bar cookie. Four. Had the opening he wanted short, Duong did. Just yeah. went in the net. Yeah, short return and it sat up. You know, sometimes if the ball is short and low, at least four, you can four. get away with it a little bit more there. But that one sat up and Duong had it lined up. It just misses. Side out. As does Frazier in that one as well. Full slate of action ahead here on Humana Championship Court. We've got four of the singles semifinals up first then we switch to mix four and gender four. doubles to wrap up the day full day ahead oh, side out fortunate miss there from frazier that's when we say good eye swung and four missed four. There we go. Set up beautifully. And there we see a little bit of the tennis flare shining through. Yeah, I'm, I'm curious to see if, if Frazier is going to try to implement a little more cat and mouse. You mentioned the knee injury. He he looks like he's, I don't know, it almost looks like he's limping four, four. a little bit. To me, if, if I was on his bench, I would tell him to maybe instead of just trying to pass every time, maybe drop, come in, and move him around in the kitchen and test out that Point. knee. Certainly we see that he moved really well on that one running around the backhand to rip that inside out forehand, but I still think Frazier can use his cat and mouse game. Duong probably Five, not four. quite as comfortable with that part of the game just yet. I'm sure he will be in time, but right now he likes to sit back and just rip passing shots as much as he can. Just missed the approach shot there. And to your point, Huang Duong has been playing since Tuesday. He had to play in the play-in match to get into the second round. Four, five. Yeah, what a great run for him. What a play from Frazier point. inside out. Yeah, we see him right there trying to move in. Uh, didn't quite drop the ball, but you could tell he's trying to, you know, that's a, a out, concerted receiver, effort five, five. to just move into the court a little bit more, get to that kitchen line, and see if he can get Duong moving side to side. Duong calls a timeout. Dylan Frazier ties it at five. And but very impressed with just his composure as a, as a, young, as a young player. Again, not coming from tennis, but making the adjustments necessary to adapt uh, his game and uh, yeah, very impressed with Dylan. Great kid, uh, great player, obviously. Five five. And uh, I don't know. I mean, he can. He's already at the very top of the game, and he's taken out some of the top players in the world. And I think he had an unfortunate loss in the men's doubles. Um, just wasn't their best match for him and JW against uh, Jay Devillier and Pat Smith. So great win for five, five. Pat and Jay, and we'll see them later on today, but uh, yeah, Dylan is uh, uh, just such an incredible player. Side out. Five, five. Back for Duong. Five, five. Point. Great ball there from Frazier. I want to see Frazier put just a little more air under his serves. We saw him hit Six, the five. net several times on that one service. See if he can put a little more air to get it deeper. What a response from Frazier. He just makes that shot look easy, and it's not. No, absolutely. It's just those quick hands, and he's so comfortable coming in. See the replay right there. Just no problem for him. 
Duong would have been better off going cross court on that backhand. 7 5. Point. Beautiful dropping shot on the backhand side for Dylan Frazier. Dips it right at the feet of Kwong Tuong. No medical timeout on the receiver. 8 5. In the match. That's good news. And for Frazier. A long break for him. We'll see where he can go from Five. here. There's a nice lob mixed in there from Kwong Duong to command the tempo, get the serve back. Five eight. Side out. Surrenders the serve right back. So if you're in Duong's shoes, you're less mobile, obviously. How can you dictate pace maybe or try and, and get things in your favor as far as not being able Eight to move five. as much? Do you have to be more aggressive with your angles and just moment after the serve? Yeah, it's a beautiful inside out. out angle. Yeah, well, from personal experience, uh, not wanting points to go any longer than they need to and not wanting to lengthen any points is you try to end the point as quickly as possible, right? Obviously, if you're serving, Five, you're looking to pass with your third rather than get into any lengthy exchange. Side eight. Oh, side Hands out. battle won once more by Dylan Frazier. So impressive to me how quick Dylan Frazier is. We talk about it a lot, but it's five. even faster in person. Yeah, not the kind of exchanges that Duong wants to get into. Too good of a what? counter from Frazier. How do you get a hold of that one? Wow. Just again, just the quick hands, right? And you can see it. I mean, it's obvious. It's a point of emphasis for him Nine, to five. get to that kitchen line, even when he's the person serving and using his hand speed. Uh, just beautiful. Clean winner inside in. Game point for Dylan Frazier, the 10 Game seat. point. Yeah, Ten that's where you five. saw a little bit of the lack of mobility for Duong. Side out. Five ten. Point. Yeah, good rip there from Duong, cross court, leading to the miss volley. Just Six, sailing ten. on. Beautiful put away from Frazier, set Side himself out. up perfectly, and game point number two back on his side. Game point. 10-6. Short serve, side Again, out. Again, clips the net. Six ten. Side out. Point game, 11 six. Dylan Frazier cleans it up. The official ball of the PPA Tour. Much easier road to the championship, no disrespect to Duong, just how good Ben Johns is. What a shot from Point. Frazier out of the gate early. Yeah, and especially, obviously, Duong dealing with that knee injury yeah. is limiting his uh, mobility. 
Only Fire one out. top five seed remains in the semis. Federico Straxford. Zero one. Yeah, what a way to start the year. A lot of upsets in the single side. Point. One one. Point. Nice drive from Duong, forcing the air on Frazier. Packs a lot of power on his ground strokes. Two one. Mm, service fault called on Duong. We've been talking about it all weekend, but if you're just joining us, the rules there, you can't toss the ball up on the serve. Has to leave the hand in a downward motion, and it has One, to two. be contacted below the top of the hip. Ow, Duong, Duong. Side out. Manning the kitchen. Yeah, and correction, I think uh, yesterday or the day before, I, I mentioned Two, that the one. palm has to be facing down. I checked with one of the refs. That is not an issue. They can toss it with kind of uh, however they want to hold the ball as long as is below Side the out. hip. When they let go of the ball, they cannot move their hand up above their hip. Their hand can be facing in one, any direction two. as long as that ball doesn't go up off of the, off the hand. Side out. Two, one. Point. Three, one. Yeah, great Point. deep serve from Duong. Timeout receiver, four, one. This was a very, very good table tennis or ping pong player along with tennis as well. Wow, Kwong Duong stayed alive in that rally off a, an incredible shot from Frazier. Yeah, I thought Frazier should have covered line a lot more. He seemed surprised that, that Duong went line on that backhand. Uh, maybe he was expecting a, a rolled cross-court ball, but caught him Five off guard, point. even though he was in command of that point. Uh, you can point. tell the sun for sure. An issue right there. The way he struck that overhead, it was clear that that sun was right in his face. We'll see if Duong uses that a little more, maybe, here while he's on this near side. 6 1. Beautiful put away from Dylan Frazier. Duong read it cross. Frazier adjusted, looking to climb out of a 5.0. Point. Return is deep, there's one. Yeah, much better job there from Frazier getting that ball deep. For the viewers, like right now, what I'm looking at is can he get the ball Here's to it. where that shadow is on the court? It's kind of a good marker. Side out. Six, two. Wow. Point. Line drive on the backhand of Quang Duong. Yeah, he's gone cross court a couple times. You could tell Frazier was looking for that Seven, cross court two. rip. Instead, he stays up the line for a clean winner. Wow. <laughs> wow. Unbelievable. Yeah, he had two ridiculous backhands. This one for a winner. Just using that left hand so well to get around the ball. 
And maybe earlier that's why Frazier was anticipating the cross eight, court and didn't sit on. He's had a long health journey to get there. And Wong is three away from forcing a third. Five Just out. back. Frazier needs six. And then some. Two, eight. Wong is forcing the issue with his power. Yeah, and I think that was a that was a knot ball there that Frazier hit on that forehand. 82. That ball was pretty high with pace. I think it was going to sail, and probably I'm sure Frazier knows that. Yeah, great job from Frazier getting Duong moving and obviously comes out on top of that point. But not only that, he's making Duong Two, run eight. around a lot. That's just going to put a lot more pressure on that right knee. Let, Gosh, another call. short serve. If I'm Frazier, I got to get that ball Two, high eight. up above the net, aim for that shadow in the back of the court. There we go. Point. Oh, he made me look like a genius. That's hard to do. <laughs> Eight. Much better job on that one as well. Wow. Rocket Side of the out. volley on the backhand side of Kwong Duong. Yeah, Frazier just left that ball way too high. Duong able to swing out on it with that two-handed backhand volley. Just missing up the line there was Duong. The ref confirming the out call. Three, eight. A little short on that serve. Point. Fortunate for Frazier, that return goes long. Four, eight. Side Just out. wide for Frazier. Yeah, and another short serve. You see how short that ball is landing on the court. It allows Duong to move into it, rip the return, and even more than important than that, in two steps, he's at the kitchen line ready for the third shot. Why for out. Duong? That is one of the areas Frazier has said he's working on in singles, trying to go big on his serve and go for big thirds. So the ground stroke is the hardest thing for him to figure Four, out. Eight. Learning how to generate those passing shots. Blood. Another Recall. low serve, yeah. Four eight. Oh, beautiful Too pass. Good from Frey Mentioning this being a Grand Slam tournament. Great deep serve. Ball stays in, great overhead. Oh, set up by that deep serve you mentioned. What a point for Dylan Frazier. Mix of everything. Yeah, and you see, we've seen Duong use that lob Six, a few times when he's caught in that cat and mouse game, trying to get out of it by pushing Dylan back. Side out. The inside out passing shot too much. My goodness, Kwong Duong loads up. Yeah, and Frazier just late with that backhand volley. You could see him after missing that ball, uh, Nine, telling himself six. to kind of poke that ball straight ahead. <laughs> Cross score beauty from Kwong Duong. Game point. And just like that, game point for the 17 year old. Yeah, he set himself up with a great deep serve. You saw Frazier having a hard time handling that serve, Ten left it way too short and up high enough for Duong to just rip that ball cross court. 
much better return that time from Frazier all the way down deep into that where they see, see the shadow there and that's where he needs to be aiming not only his returns but his serve as well. well Frazier acknowledged that with the big Six ground ten. strokes of Duong where turns are so crucial for him. Good job on that serve. Wow, and the counter punch on the sprawl for Dylan Frazier. Yeah, that's, that deep serve was key because now, now Duong was coming from well behind the baseline, which of course gives Frazier a lot more court Seven, to work ten. with with that first volley. Side out. Unfortunate there for Frazier, but he set himself up again Game with that point. deep serve. There was plenty of court open on that cross court. He went to the right spot. He just left it short. 10-7. Yeah. Point game, 11-7. Juan Duong takes the second. We're going the distance. Dug deep, found a way. Game three underway now. Side out. Good deep return there from Frazier to the backhand wing of Duong. Put it, just placed it perfectly on that corner. Zero, zero. Duong missing with the cross court pass. Great job from Frazier moving Duong around. He didn't go very deep on the serve, but he did go wide on that sideline, forcing Duong to go really wide on that forehand side, opening up the rest of the court, setting One up the zero. point for Frazier. Point. Yeah, that's a better serve there. Nice and deep. For the viewers, I'm looking as I'm watching Two the screen, zero. I'm looking for that ball to land between the tape of the net and that baseline. Side out. The ball was well short. But Frazier still had a chance there to drop and come in. A zero two. He was clearly trying to do. Wow, great serve. Point. One, two. One. Point. Beautiful passing touch from Quan Duong to tie it. Yeah, he didn't have to move very much for that one. He was able to just step into it and rip it before Frazier could be ready. Two, two. Great execution there from Duong. Frazier goes back to Three, that backhand. Two. Will Duong go line or will he go cross court? Out. Referee timeout. Two, three. Oh, wow. Point. Grabbed it right on the corner. Great hands, great movement. We see the replay here. Duong setting himself up, thinking he probably has a winner. But just Frazier so quick three, recovering three. and then still being able to get a paddle on that ball for a winner. Cross court, and Dylan Frazier is going off. Yeah, Frazier showing Duong he's not the only one that can go short angle cross court with that backhand roll. Great job, Four, especially since that was such a deep return, hard to handle. And another pass Point. from Frazier, this time on the forehand side, short angle forehand roll, which is what we saw a lot of in game one. Working for him here in game Five, three, three once again. Trying to get to that switch. Start out. Packing a whip on the backhand volley. Kwong Duong staying right in it. 
Yeah, the ball from Frazier just hung way too much. He was obviously trying to roll it cross court, but it just stayed up enough for Duong to Three, be able to five. rip it with that two-handed backhand. Point. Oh, the call was wide. According to Duong on that line shot from Dylan Frazier. No fight back from Frazier at the moment. Four, five. Great return from Frazier. That was not an easy serve to handle. You could see, but he was off the screen trying to return that ball, but he puts it on that backhand corner of Duong. Just not able to get that cross Five, court four. roll to, to make it over the net. Side out. Four, five. Dylan Frazier goes cross court, beats Duong. Yeah, just a flick of that right hand. We see the replay here. Duong still using that lob, but this time it doesn't work for him as Frazier hits a ridiculous forehand cross court pass. 5 4. Point. Timeout. Change in. 6 4. Podium. 6 4. Top 10 player. This is the first of four Grand Slams on the schedule this season. Side out. Four, six. Point. Wong Duong wowing the crowd with that backhand ground stroke as he has all match long. Yeah, and he's done a great job of mixing it up, going line and cross court. I anticipate that Five, the next six. chance he gets, if he's on that left wing, he might go down the line. Point. Just to keep Dylan Frazier guessing. We get a miss return here from Frazier, so tied up at six. Thrilled to be on the call with six, you six. for our first half of the semifinal action alongside Daniel Roditi. I'm Michelle McMahon. And that is the hand speed of Dylan Frazier. So quick with his mobility. Daniel mentioned earlier, one of the few players that doesn't have a tennis background, but six, six. so incredibly athletic. Yeah, we saw Duong there try to go up the line to try to change. Great ball there from Frazier. Yeah, he went up the line on the last pass attempt, I think, because he was trying to mix it up. He'd gone cross court the previous point. Then he tried to go down the line, but I think the cross court was Seven, a better six. option for that one. Point. Great roll, yeah. Eight, six. Frazier set himself up with a great deep serve. Body language set it all after he, that one. Yeah, he had an opening there. And again, I, I, I want to see him use his drops a little bit more Six, and eight. try to come in. He's won most of those points at the kitchen line when they're both up there. Oh, what a grab Side from Duong. Finished off, though, by Dylan Frazier. As fast as Frazier's hand speed is, so are his feet. Yeah, he moves really well. We saw Duong attempt another lob. Eight, he six. might do it a little bit more from this end as Frazier's staring at the sun. Yes. Counter attack delivered by Kwong Duong. Six, eight. Let. Recall. Six, eight. Point. Duong back within one in game three. 
And if you're just joining us, he had a medical timeout called in the first game. That right knee's Seven, been bothering eight. him. Injured it back in November last season. Side out. Just back that time. Yeah. Dylan Frazier looking to take a two-point lead. Cross-court winner on the backhand attack of Dylan Frazier, exploiting that mobility issue for Kwong Duong. Yeah, and he set himself up again with a deeper serve, forcing Duong Nine to come seven. from much further back from the court, allowing that cross-court to be open. Ooh, and then a missed return there. Costly. Match point. Timeout receiver, 10-7. And Time Jack end. Sock will also be on display. Match point for Dylan Frazier. on Sunday. Dylan Frazier, the first to punch his ticket into Championship Sunday. We're here at the PPA Hyundai Masters, powered by Invited, a huge three-game win over Kwong Duong. Dylan Frazier killing it with those passing shots. Welcome in, Cameron Blackwood, Matt Manassi. Dylan, it, you knew it was going to be tough against Kwong. Incredible passing shots. What did you know you had to do well in order to win? Uh, yeah, I knew how to return really well. If you give him anything to work with, he's just going to pass you pretty easily. He's in incredibly good at the passing shots. Um, he uses that Western grip or funky grip, I don't even know. But uh, he gets a lot of good topspin on it. He's got the short angles down for sure. So you got to return deep and, and try to keep the ball to bounce low so that he can't pass you with it. Kwong took a injury timeout in the first knee injury. Didn't seem to affect him whatsoever. Did that change your mindset throughout the rest of the, the match or no? I tried to keep doing the same thing. Um, yeah, I saw that he was having a little bit of trouble moving to the right a little bit, it looked like. So I started targeting the forehand a little bit more. But for the most part, you know, he was still moving pretty well. So I didn't want to change too much. That was working for me. Speaking of targeting, yesterday we talked about off camera, kind of your paddle angles when you're around the kitchen line. You're kind of already anticipating where the ball is coming and having that angle going, kind of keeping that ball in front of you. Talk a little bit, bit about that and how you prepare for that. Yeah, so I try to keep the paddle angle kind of pointed cross court, especially so that when I'm playing a righty so I can target the backhand a little bit more because sometimes they like to follow it up with a, a forehand. They, they do a third shot drive and then crash and, and try to look for a forehand. So I try to keep it to the backhand as much as possible while also mixing it up a little bit. You stated earlier at the desk that you want to make the podium consistently in singles. We're not going to be seeing you in mixed or doubles, which is where we usually see, but how happy are you that you have, in fact, did that this tournament? Yeah, no, I'm really excited. Uh, I knew I knew that I had the ability to get to this point. It was just a matter of finding the, the right strategy, so I'm glad it's starting to finally come together. Yeah, you have Sock and Staxrude playing third on here. Tell me about what you expect in that matchup, and who do you want to play tomorrow? <laughs> uh, I'm, I, I'm very excited to see this match. I think it's going to be a really good match between them. Um, Jack hasn't played. I think he's only played one tournament, but he's out here crushing it. He's got he's incredibly athletic, uh, great passing shots, and then Federico, who's a consistent you know, podium finisher and singles. He's really tough. Um, I think it's going to be a good match. I don't know. I don't know what to expect. Well, thank you so much, Dylan Frazier. Congratulations, making his way into Championship Sunday tomorrow.